Hey guys, our simple adventures here. We just got back from the holidays in the in the Midwest. You can kind of see what we uh, what we drove through and what we lived through over the past couple weeks. Anyway, um, horrible weather up there, and we are gonna do this review. I didn't expect to to be able to do a review this quick, but I just bought this uh, right before Christmas. Stay tuned for a review. Okay, you guys, that took about uh, five minutes to go from 45 PSI and my little uh, Junebug's little 13-inch uh, wheel here. Went to, took about five minutes to go from 45 PSI to 65 PSI. So that is pretty good. Um, I will tell you, uh, as I said, we just got back from the Midwest for Christmas and... There was one morning we came out of the hotel. The wind chill was like 15 or 20 below. Real temperature was just right below zero. And my Jeep's tire was low. It was down to 20 PSI. Well, I uh, hooked this thing up and uh, and it was it was it was pumping slow and maybe because the wind chill was almost 20 below. Uh, I got tired of waiting for it, but it seemed like it was going really slow on my Jeep tire. Um, and I looked across the street, there's a gas station with a with a uh, air compressor. So I said, screw this, and uh, went across the street. But this, it, it was pumping it up. It's just that I was freezing, and I wanted to get it done. And so I wanted to do this test here just now. Um, this was the only lower tire, low tire I had. Um, so... It did pretty good. I, I will give that a air compressor part a thumbs up. I wanted to let you guys know too that the, the air pressure gauge on the on the Power Pack Pro 1100, uh, I, I compared that to my personal air gauge that I take with me everywhere and that I trust, and it was right on. It was it was uh, they were both real. It was real close. So on with the rest of it. Okay, let's talk about the jump start capabilities on this. It was a couple days after um, I used it for the tire, when my tire, when my passenger side rear tire was low. Um, came out in the, in the morning uh, and the Jeep wouldn't start. It turn over, turn over, turn over, and it, it would almost start. If you know what I'm talking about, or like catch it, like it could turn faster and act like it was going to start, but then it wouldn't start. So I pulled out, pulled out the power pack here, and to make a long story short, I spent six hours on that Saturday in 10 degree below weather, you know, multiple degrees, even uh, wind chill beyond that, um, trying to get that Jeep started. I've got a six month old battery in the Jeep. I didn't know if I had flooded it or what, but it was one of those things where it would turn over, turn over, turn over, wouldn't start this thing hung in there like a trooper you know i would i would i would go out there and i try to start it try to start it and uh you know without i didn't want to run, run down a good battery so this thing this was a trooper um took about six hours i finally uh finally went and bought some uh, starting fluid and uh and after a couple of times using the starting fluid the jeep caught and turned over and ran and then didn't have an issue with the Jeep the rest of the trip. But uh, this, that was worth buying this all day long. And then on the way back, driving through Kansas, again, way below zero, we pull into a rest area. Uh, if you guys are all familiar with the rest areas on the toll road in Kansas, um, they're kind of like service centers, but uh, um, filled up with gas, uh, busy little rest area the, the day after um, New Year's and I noticed a kid in a 78 uh, Ford F-250 <laughs> big old beast uh, uh, four-wheel drive and it was, he was cranking it over and I looked at Debbie and uh, looked in the back at the power pack here and so I so I pulled it out and, and I noticed the kid was kind of looking around to see if anybody noticed and uh, so I went over there and, uh, and 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 mind you this had not been charged up 
it had not been charged up since since I I used it. So I, I went over there and uh, and jump started the young man in his uh, 78 uh, F250, and he he offered me five bucks. And I thought, oh come on, no, no, it was worth it. I told him go buy one of these. Well, it, no, actually get a battery first and then buy one of these. So uh, yeah, big old thumbs up on the jump start capabilities. Okay, on some of these other features now that uh, we did use the uh, USB ports to charge our our uh, phones. Actually, while we were traveling, we, we, we set the power pack here kind of right between us behind the front seats uh, um, so, we, so we could get to that. Um, so worked perfectly, charged our phones. Um, we did not use the DC charger. I have no reason to believe it doesn't work. Maybe I... Yeah, um, you know, pretty simple thing. Uh, I guess I should try that. I also did not use the AC outlets. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to plug something in here before we're done. Um, this shows battery level. And we're starting to get a little, a little low. We have not charged this since we've been back. Um, one complaint I do have is this you, this has to be on in order to use the USB or to use the AC outlets um, that has to be on the device will be on but there was uh, a couple of times maybe three or four times during the trip back that uh, one of us looked back and the light the light was on and we were not using we weren't we're not using it we did not want the want it to be on these buttons I if if I've got one complaint about this 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 item, they should have some kind of guard or protector around these these buttons, because inevitably the button got pushed on, and you can see it pushed on pretty easy. I think we threw we threw a heavy blanket back there one time, and that turned the button on, and that will run your battery down if you don't notice that. So and the same thing with the AC. So that is the only complaint I have about this machine. Um, this is where you plug it in to charge, which I'm going to do here shortly when the video is done. Um, let's see, have I forgotten anything? Oh yeah, it's got the light here. I did not use, it's a pivoting light, did not need it. As, as you can see it works, it's an LED light. Um, I will get these, these stow a little better around the machine. You can see, you know, if, if, if you're on the side of the road, there is little reflectors, you know, all around this. So, so if you're working on a vehicle on the side of the road, it's kind of handy. There's reflectors all on every side of it that uh, might catch the eye of a car. Um, oh, as far as the jump start, you do turn this on and then it, it's, it's cranking right now. So you could hook it up and, and jump start your vehicle. Um, what else? You know what? I'm gonna try something on the AC just a sec. Okay, we're, we're gonna try something on the AC here. Not not just some wimpy little fan or a light or something. We're gonna do my sawzall. So I got it plugged in. Let's put the AC. AC light is on. Okay. That was probably silly to try that, but uh, you can see that's not going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing maybe all it will run is a maybe a light or my brother actually asked me about a crock pot, like when they were tailgating. Um, you know, you guys are going to have to do your research on that. Uh, thanks for watching our simple adventures. God bless and subscribe there's going to be oh i've got a nissan frontier pro x 4 desert truck that i'm going to drive and preview here shortly subscribe for more thanks you guys take care god bless